Hello there everybody, I hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about caravans in Warhammer 3, how they work, um, what encounters and events they come across, uh, and a few tips and tricks as well just so you can max out the efficiency of your caravans and try and get the armies and the magistrates as strong as possible so your caravans always make it to their destination. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright, so this is what it looks like when your caravan completes its journey. So I've just arrived at Frozen Landing with 2,000 cargo, sold it for just under 10,000. Uh, the demand for trade goods in Frozen Landing is now reduced, but will increase steadily over time. So this basically means you don't want to be sending your caravans repeatedly to the same place, because they're not going to want uh, cargo because they've already got a bunch, so they're not going to pay as much. Uh, so you want to be alternating where you're going. Now I didn't actually get a item this time because I've already sent a caravan to Frozen Landing before. This is the second time uh, that I've sent one there. Um, so like I say, you want to be rotating where you're sending them. So if we go to the Ivory Road, we need now need to choose who we want to go next. And there's a really, it's really, really cool because you can change the routes as well. Now a lot of these routes here look pretty friggin' dangerous because I'm at war with like a lot of people here. Uh, the only person I'm not is Goldtooth down here. Uh, so we're going to want to send a, another caravan now, so we need to choose which one we're going to go for. Uh, this guy's got 13 units, none of them are sent, like, really strong. Uh, but a good few archers, a good few spearmen, they should be able to hold up against most things. So what we're going to do is stack these guys with cargo, uh, and we are going to go to... The... Uh, I think we might... Do we want to go to Marimberg? Nah, let's not go to Marimberg. Let's not go to Drakenhof. Uh, it's looking like Outdorf's going to be a good one uh, to go for. It's going to take 10 turns. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll dispatch it to Outdorf. Uh, we can see here it really doesn't matter too much where we go. Uh, it might be best off if we head this way. Because this way we have one, two, three, four high threat zones. Whereas if we go the other way, we have one, two, three, four, five high threat zones. So I feel like this is the better route. So we're going to send them off that way. Uh, I've already got a reduced ambush chance with that guy as well. Um, so hopefully he gets there all right. And hopefully we actually get some better units for his army. Because his army is kind of a, a bit of a basic bitch army right now. Alright, so this is one of the potential caravan events that happens along the way to your destination. Uh, so I've just been ambushed, or, or I've spotted an ambush slightly ahead, so I can either choose to fight them uh, and proceed as usual, or pay an extra thousand and take the long way round. Now this really depends on obviously how strong the enemy's army is, and how strong your army is as well. There is also an upgradable skill you can get for the caravan magistrates which allows you to reduce the chance of being ambushed. I think you can reduce it up to 75%. So if you're playing on harder difficulties, I would definitely recommend going down there first. I know it's always tempting to go for the bigger cargo loot or the more money you get from the sale, things like that. Um, but the ambushes can sometimes be pretty tough. In this circumstance, we've got quite a good matchup. They've got a lot of big units. We've got a lot of anti-large. Uh, so we should be fine to fight this one. Uh, yeah, heroic victory lowers anyway, so go ahead and auto resolve that. Um, I personally pretty much always go with units replenished on this one. Um, just because you never know what's going to happen next turn, especially when it's 16%. That's really good. Because you can also upgrade the units returned as well. Uh, you can upgrade how much replenishment you get after battles, which I would definitely recommend too. Uh, we could actually have a real quick look at that. Uh, so this guy's currently on the way, so let's see what he's currently got. So I've currently got, yeah, minus 65% chance of ambush. It can go up to minus 75. Uh, I've maxed out the sail cargo and the max cargo capacity, uh, and got the casualty replenishment rate, and the minus from attrition as well. Because you basically want to have these armies as strong as possible, because you never know who's just randomly going to attack them uh, and what's going to happen. There is a couple of really interesting uh, ones up here as well. You can only select one of these. Cost of Caravan Shortcut Event, minus 30. Chance of a double move, plus 5. And then Upgraded is plus 10. Uh, and minus uh, 50%. Or you can go for Smuggler Space and you get increased cargo capacity for caravans. And reduce the charge in Extortion Events uh, as well. Which is pretty good. Um, you have to let me know which one you guys will go for. 
I feel like I should go for max cargo reduced charge. Ooh, I don't know, dude. It's a good choice. Cost of caravan, shortcut events, double chance. Chance of double move seems very good, though. Chance of double move does seem very good, but it's only 10%, whereas this one can carry an extra 30% cargo. So I think I'm going to go for the cargo. Uh, and I think we will go for casualty replenishment again. Surely a gift from the dragon. So here we have another encounter called Lost Patrol. This is a good one. You normally just get to choose between two different kind of units. Uh, I've only got two spaces left in this army. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Jade Crossbowman with shields. What I think I might do as well is disband a couple of these uh, peasant warriors. So if I get another event like this, I can replace them with better warriors. Uh, but yeah, in this circumstance, I'm going to be going for the Jade Warrior Crossbowman with shields. So here we have a, another caravan encounter. This one is a demonic incursion, uh, which I haven't actually seen before. This is the first one I've seen. Um, so basically, again, we either have to choose to fight the demons or retreat and destroy a peasant archer unit. Uh, this time, if I do fight them, I get all units uh, in army are unbreakable, which is pretty great, and uh, demon's bane, which uh, causes fear when fighting against demons of chaos all armies which to be honest is pretty good just for this little event all armies cause fear when fighting against demons of chaos that is really really good and that will help because i know in this campaign i've got to take out uh scarbrand because i think he's got uh, two souls he's got one ahead of me uh so this time we're gonna go fight the hellspawn we've got a relatively uh good army here so it shouldn't be too bad uh, and i think i will have to uh fight this one manually so literally, uh, like one or two turns after the demonic incursion, I had this one pop up. So we've got a caravan encounter, the inn encounter. Oh, the inn encounter. Nice game. <laughs> uh, so basically what we've got here is we can either say uh, we want an empire captain to be added to our army. Uh, or thanks, but no. And to be honest with you, most of these times you're going to want to be putting units in, especially if it's costing a very small amount of gold. Um, sometimes you'll have to choose between two units. In that case, just choose the units that you're lacking. For example, if you have loads of archers, maybe choose some uh, melee or vice versa. Uh, but in this uh, circumstance, we're definitely going to be grabbing the Empire Captain for sure. So here is another caravan encounter. Uh, this one is called the Toll. Uh, this can actually be beneficial to give up the cargo sometimes because you're not, especially if you've upgraded a bit, uh, it's not loads of your cargo. Uh, and if you want to, for example, say establish an outpost with Goldtooth, which I already have in this campaign, um, this can be really good for impro improving relations, plus 40, it's not bad. Uh, or in this case, I'm just going to draw weapons just because I don't need to do that. I've already got like over 200 relations with him. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be drawing weapons on this one. We'll auto that because it's low. This army's actually got a good few units this time. We've got the Empire Captain. We've got a bunch of uh, Jade Lancers. Very nice. Okay, everybody, so we've pretty much made it to the end of the video now. Uh, the only thing I haven't gone through in a lot of detail is the, the first reward you get from each location. Uh, so when you travel to each of the locations, so uh, Shattered Stone Bay down here and all the other ones, Outdoor, Drakenhof, you get a specific item. So I do have another video that literally just tells you all the items you get uh, and some positives and negatives about those items, how you guys can use them, what items are good to go for straight away early in your campaign that will help you uh, sort of progress fastest. Uh, so I'll put the link for that video in the description and on the screen somewhere here. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I do hope the trading video helped. Uh, if you've got any more questions, please do put them in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear them. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, hanging out. Peace easy. I'll catch you in the next one.